Hi there, I'm Jeff. I'm a product manager here at CloudNC. And today I'm gonna to walk you through how to create a three plus two toolpath operation or set of operations using Cam Assist. So I've got a three plus two part here loaded up in Fusion. It's in a vise already, a little above the vise, but you can imagine there's some stock material around that part. And I'm in the manufacturer space now, I'll go over there. And the first thing I'm gonna do is create my setup. So I've got no setup defined. So I'll come up to setup and pick new setup. And I don't want the whole part or the whole assembly. I just want my part. So I'm gonna to go to model and then pick the model. And I might have to come in and actually pick the body. So I've got this part here. So let me deselect this one, pick it from here. There we go. And I know that that set up the, the body actually of the stock is actually going to go down much below the part, 50 millimeters. I can add that in and there I got it there. And Fusion likes to come in and hide your vise. So I can turn that back on. And probably have to turn the bodies on. So one reason why I'd want to turn those on, it's in my setup itself. I want to go in and add the actual fixture. So I can edit the setup and I'm going to pick the fixture here. So I want to pick the jaws and the, the vice body. So I've got the, the stock to find. I'm probably not going to be machining that too much uh, in between the jaws, but just in case I can do add a, a feature called avoidance geometry. So if I pick that, it'll just put a block in like that from uh, that part of the stock where I don't really want to do any cutting on this operation, which would basically be op one. All right, so now I've got all of that defined and I'm ready to open Cam Assist. So I'll open Cam Assist. And we are going to use our inch library for this job. Just trying to make that a little bit bigger. And I'm going to do this in aluminum as a three plus two machining mode. So for the machining modes, the first option is to use XYZ, the XYZ axes. This is a great solution for especially prismatic parts because it's going to automatically create directions from X plus, X minus, Y plus, Y minus, and from the Z down. So it's a great solution for, you know, cuboid parts. And it's basically your one, one click solution. In the second option, you have more control. So if you have more of an opinion on how you'd want to run those processes for your three plus two operation, use the user defined method. And that allows you to select not only different directions for roughing and finishing, but you can select planar faces and cylindrical faces, and it would generate directions that are perpendicular to those cylindrical faces or tangent to them. And that's a great solution for when you need to have more control in your toolpath operations. The third selection is our one click solution of automatic. And this is a great solution if you maybe you don't have a strong opinion or you don't know where to start. So if you start with automatic, you can see how Cam Assist would generate uh, some pot potential options for you in terms of your three plus two operation. And you might be able to uh, use them right out of the box. And once again, you can go in and modify them as needed or use it as a way to inform your strategies to go back in and use one of the other methodologies. Okay, so back in our part now, we've got uh, our tool library set up, our material, and three plus two, and we're gonna do the align to XYZ mode. I've got the setup one selected. My avoidance geometry is already selected when I did the creation, it marked that uh, that model body as avoidance geometry, and so it's pre-selected. I could select other bodies if I needed to. I'm gonna leave my work holding up at excellent, and I'm not gonna change any other 
tabs in Cam Assist. I don't need to. I can hit run. So while this toolpath is being prepared, we'll skip ahead a little bit in the video. Okay, so Cam Assist is completed now. I can close that and I'll expand out the browser here to show the toolpaths that have been created. So we've got a bit of calculating still on our roughing and flat finishing, but we can look at the others. So we've got our facing here in two passes and our wall finishing, we'll skip over the roughing and flat. We've got one, two, three operations there. And then for hole making, you can see those coming in from the different directions. So the way the hole making works in Cam Assist is it'll drill holes where it can get into the hole diameter with an appropriate drill that matches from the tool library. And where it doesn't have an appropriate drill, it'll do helical boring using an end mill. And then it's got some deburring operations at the end here. And on our roughing, you can see that's finished now. There's the main roughing pass and then our detailed roughing. Now we are getting a bit of whisper cuts in this model. So there's a way to correct that on this toolpath. If we'd like, we can come up here to edit the toolpath and on our passes here, the radial stock to leave, if we just increase this number slightly, it will help tidy up that toolpath. So that's some of the 20% work that you might have to do when you're using Cam Assist. And that's just basically the way Fusion has a bit of a limitation on that, on that toolpath. But now we can see that that is a cleaner toolpath to do our cleanup on the inside. It doesn't do those. Um, extraneous cuts on the outside. And then in terms of flat finishing, that's all ready to go. So we could move on and simulate that, but let's look at this part again. This time we're gonna use the uh, user-defined directions to set up the toolpath. So I'll close those ones off, delete them off. I'll open up Cam Assist again. And this time I'm going to choose three plus two again but I'll choose user defined. And you can see this target setup menu changes a little bit. So we're still gonna keep our setup one. We can use different directions for roughing and finishing. If we keep the roughing order checked, it would match the selection order that we produce. I'm only gonna use one roughing direction from the top. And then for my finishing directions, I'm gonna select the walls. and the top edge here. For my avoidance geometry, same thing as before. I'll keep keep that and let's run that and see how that goes. And once again, we'll skip ahead in the video. Okay, again, we've got our results completed here. And as we imagine, getting very similar results in terms of the toolpath operations the Cam Assist has produced. Facing again, roughing and flat finishing are calculating again. And our wall finishing, equaling the results that we got before, same for hole making. And deburring. And then let's give roughing one more second here. This is a calculation that's happening just on my computer, it doesn't involve the cloud calculation from Cam Assist. This is just within Fusion. We're getting the first roughing pass now. It looks very similar to our previous result. And then the second one's just still calculating a bit, but let's look at the flat finishing, same as before. And there's that last roughing pass. Once again, we've got that whisper cut effect and recall that in order to correct that, we're just gonna edit the tool or the tool path in the passes tab, add 0.1 of a millimeter and then re regenerate that. And those extraneous cuts on the outside will go away. All right, 
So our final toolpath creation method using 3 plus 2 in Cam Assist is the automatic. Let's give that a go. So pick 3 plus 2, choose automatic. And again, we've got very limited selections down here in the target setup. This is meant to be a uh, single click operation. So there we go. We can hit run. And once again, we'll skip ahead in the video slightly. There we go. So again, our toolpath is still calculating for roughing and finishing. Our facing operations look very similar to before. Same with our flats. And our wall finishing. And then hole making. And deburring. And finally, if we look at the roughing, we've got the same first pass. And we're looking at both together there. There's the first one. And the second one, again, our old friend Whisper Cuts is coming in. So I'm just going to pick the edit. Correct that. And our flat finishing. So as with all toolpaths, in Cam Assist and in Fusion in general, best to run a simulation to see how everything looks together, to pinpoint any potential causes of collisions or so forth. So set that up. And while the simulation's running, just a reminder to check out the documentation section in Cam Assist for more information on 3 plus 2. We'll also be producing some other example videos here to uh, highlight some of those differences and applications of using those different machining modes using 3 plus 2. And if you have any questions or need any uh, support from uh, us here at CloudNC, don't be afraid to reach out using the support link in the drop down menu under Cam Assist. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy using 3 plus 2 operations with Cam Assist.